Hi guys, my name is Dr. Mithil Shia and I welcome you all to my channel Quality Learning. Today we are going to talk about a topic which is I think most of us get confused and that is how should I read my dental pulse? Looking at that book, oh my god, such a big book, huge volumes, three huge volumes and looking at new editions coming in, there are hundreds and two hundreds of pages which are adding in. So how to read this book? This is the video where you are going to understand how to read this book. So stay tuned. This is the first thing you need to do is you need to cut that book into subjects. You know, this will cut down your burden because looking at this big book, you are suppose you are reading uh, one topic in orthodontics called as occlusion. You are in the you are in that chapter and you see this such a big book. Looking at that big book makes you drowsy. So what I personally used to do is I used to cut down in this uh, small pieces if you can see this is general medicine and this is pedodontics so when i read this uh, volumes it becomes so simple for me i know that i have to read this much part this is the only subject that i have to concentrate right now so it will be simple for me and it will make things really very simple so the first rule and the first point is cut down your burden keep it simple okay and most important point is to club similar subjects what do i mean by that Suppose you are reading oral pathology, there is a topic called as infections, bacterial infections, viral infections, fungal infections. So if you will open general medicine also, you will find infections. If you will open general surgery, the second chapter, infections in dental pulse. So if you will club these subjects, it will become so easier rather than just concentrating on one subject. Because when you are reading some subjects, we tend to forget those things by the time we come to other subjects. So it becomes so easy for us when you are reading infections, you are also reading infections given in general medicine. You are also give, uh, reading the second chapter infections given in sur general surgery. So it becomes so easy for you and it will save your time. See, studying smartly is more important than uh, doing so much of hard work. If you are putting so much of hard work but you are not able to remember and not able to read smartly, then there is no use. Okay, so you just need to remember this thing that I need to club similar subjects. If we talk about dental materials, pedodontics and endodontics, uh, we talk about a uh, topic called as GIC. Now GIC, the mechanism of action in dental materials is going to be the same. If we use in pedodontics, it is going to be the same. And if we use in endodontics, it is going to be same. So this thing you need to keep in your mind. Second thing is you also need to study endodontics and pedodontics. Epicectomy, apexogenesis and apexification. These are going to be similar in endodontics and pedodontics. Why do you need to study again and waste your time? Just study once in endodontics, club those subjects with pedodontics and study smartly. If you have studied occlusion nicely in dental anatomy, you would be able to solve prostodontics occlusion part also. You would be able to solve uh, the occlusion part given in your orthodontics dental pulse textbook also. Hope this thing is useful for you. If this thing is useful for you, please do like, subscribe the video. The third point is understanding an MCQ. You know, we tend to make mistakes. Generally, we are so much in a hurry to find the answers of the multiple choice questions instead of understanding those MCQs. For example, I am going to give you an example. Uh, as you can see it on your screen, this is an MCQ I would like to read for you. Extinguishes of fear on successful dental visits is an example of. As you can see, the options are modeling, reinforcement, association and desensitization. So this thing is really very simple. Uh, if you know that uh, the extinguishing of fears on successful dental visit is an example of, you really don't need to understand the other three parts. That means your concepts are clear. And suppose if you are getting confused in the options given over here, that means your concept is weak. Now suppose I go to the next question which is given just successfully down to that, is making the child observe when a dentist is working on a cooperative child is an example of so this is an example of modeling. So if you understand that dentist is trying to, you know, inculcate those things in uh, the, the patient, then you know that this concept is called as modeling. You know that this concept uh, in which you uh, gradually increase the stimuli on the patient, uh, on the pediatric patient, then this is called as desensitization. It is so simple. Then you go back to the explanations given in your dental pulse. You try to understand those things. And if the explanation is not given, still you are confused, there are those, you know, uh, reference books and page numbers given in your dental pulse. 
you can refer to that okay so this is how you are going to go through for this point so the third point is understanding and multiple choice question is expanding your knowledge you know to enhance your concepts to uh, make things conceptual based learning rather than just ratifying those things so i would say uh, for example there is a chapter called as cvs uh, in physiology there is a chapter called as cvs in general medicine and there is also a chapter called as cvs in your pharmacology so when you are studying physiology you would better understand the pathophysiological part and the medicine part in the general medicine and then you move on after you have understood the mechanism of action and pathophysiology how the things work in general medicine and in physiology you can move on to the mechanism of action part in the pharmacology for central nervous system or central uh, cardiovascular system uh, topics has such okay so when you are reading cardiovascular system you also read general medicine cardiovascular system and then you move on to the pharmacology part this is called as expanding your knowledge because what happens as i earlier also told you when you are reading this uh, subject you are so concentrated in that subject that you don't want to see anything else and by the time you move to this subject you have forgotten what the things which you had already read so this will connect things this will link things better for you and it will make your understanding so better and conceptual and no one can cut your marks in the exams and this is how you are going to enhance this is how you are going to score in your exams hope you all like this short video on how to study mcqs you know no one is going to teach you but this are some tips which i would like to give you and you should apply and see and do also comment in the comment section if you like this thing do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video where i'll be talking about so many new things so stay tuned subscribe to my channel thank you so much